Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to apply for a loan through Propelled Dashboard. So first of all, you would find an email that you would receive from Propelled team. Okay, uh, you can see here application created successfully. So your institution has sent you a link using which you can complete your loan application. So the button over here is given complete application or you can use this link as well. You will click on complete application. This will redirect you to the propelled dashboard. Here your account has already been created and uh, you can see this is propelled dashboard and in the first page you can check your loan details so you can see your institute name will be here which is Vedanta your course name which is here is uh, banking sales but your course might be different so that will be there then your course fee and then loan amount and then uh, your loan tenure down payment that you will pay and EMI for six months number of advance EMI one after you check your loan details you proceed after doing proceed what you will select from these two is if you are working then you can tick on yes I am so are you earning yes I am and if you are not working then you can tick mark on no I don't earn after that you will fill your pen number so I'll fill the pen number and it will take some time but system will auto fill several details either they can fill name and father's name both or they will just fill just the name father's name you can fill yourself then date of birth will be there you can check date month and your birth year after that you can select your gender and then you select your pin code let's say if my pin code is 560068 i select my pin code here and then i agree to allow propel to extract and share my credit information for experience as per the following terms and conditions so basically i am allowing propel to fetch my credit details to check my loan eligibility so i tick mark this and click on proceed as soon as i click on proceed I receive an OTP on my registered mobile number uh, and after you give the OTP over here you are basically giving consent to propelled to fetch your credit information so I'll just wait for the OTP Okay, if there is a problem, we can resend the OTP. Here we receive the OTP. confirm the OTP we press the OK button this is so in this particular video we will talk about for the customers whose mobile number is linked with their Aadhaar card which is called Insta KYC it takes just three minutes to complete it while standard KYC where you would need to upload your Aadhaar card and other documents through scanning or clicking a picture of it that will be called standard KYC which is time consuming for you and for propelled as well to check your documents right so in this particular video we will uh, go and check about insta KYC so I check on yes if there would be uh, like if my mobile number would not be linked to Aadhaar card then I would check on no if it is I will check on yes and fill in my mobile number plus 91 is already there so I'll just write down my 10 digit mobile number over here and proceed to KYC verification
after KYC verification after I click on proceed I am redirected to this particular website where I will complete my KYC so I'll just read I can read uh, the terms and condition and uh, click on proceed I would write down my Aadhaar number over here So as you can see after I clicked on proceed I would receive an OTP on my registered mobile number I would put that OTP over here and create a share code now share code is nothing but any four digits that you can put up over here so that your uh, other details would be password protected so I can put here any four is it and I would click on proceed and then uh, here I can see my picture my name my date of birth my mobile number my address and my gender I would confirm that and click on finish as soon as I click on finish it would redirect me to the propel dashboard back I would wait for one two second for me to get redirected and as we can see the fourth step is document verification now I can use my Aadhaar card since my Aadhaar card is already verified through the KYC process that we have just done so I can use my Aadhaar card for document verification or I can upload my driving license for uh, address proof or water ID or passport since uh, it's Insta KYC that I have done just now so uh, my Aadhaar card is already verified with propelled so I would click on Aadhaar card I would not need to upload anything because KYC is already done as soon as I clicked on Aadhaar card I can see my details there are just uh, several details that I need to fill like house number let's say uh, 26 so I will fill my house number check my name address line and pin code and verify now my address proof is verified now I need to upload bank statement so I would click on upload I can see here that I can either use bank e statement a PDF that is electronic gen electronically generated by the bank that I download from the from my net banking account so in this case you would need an active net banking account uh, from which you can download your bank e statement it would take less time to get verified or you can upload passbook photo or you know you can scan uh, your passbook for last three months so let's say if uh, today is 7th of September so the start date must be 6th of June and the end date must be 6th of September then uh, I can either use passbook photo scan or bank statement first we will see how passbook photo or scan works then we can see uh, how bank e statement works we click on passbook photo scans so here is a video in English, Hindi, Kannada and Telugu language. Uh, if I click on Hindi, I can see the subtitles in Hindi. Uh, if I choose, uh, if I choose Kannada, I can see subtitles in Kannada or Telugu as well. So uh, this video will tell me how to scan the password clearly so that it gets accepted. So uh, I can see in this video. I'll uh, select my bank in which I have my account then uh, I will choose the account type I have a saving account 
and then I will upload photo or scan of uh, my passbook. So I just uploaded uh, a statement of, of my passbook. Once I click on verify document, they ask uh, for my bank account details. So my bank is, uh, I've already selected State Bank of India. I've already selected about my bank. Then I will write down here my IFSC number. After that, I can see uh, my account type saving, then account holder name, and then I would type my account number over here. Then I would proceed. is completed we can now log out from here thank you